Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to create a full Flappy Bird game and this will be very simple and I'll try to make it as simple as possible. So you can have whatever player you want. I'll choose my Mario character for example, I just drew one. So in your player script, go to codes and go to events and grab a when green flag clicked go to looks we want it to show go to motion go to x minus 140 and y 0 to show where it exactly is and go to variables create a new variable call it gravity for all sprites and click ok now set gravity to 0 at the very beginning and go to control forever we want it to change change y by gravity and we want it to change gravity by let's say minus 0 0.8 so what this means is when it is change y by gravity and change gravity by minus 0 0.8 it does what it actually does change y by minus 0 0.8 which means the character is going down so when so what we want is when we click it we want it to go up hmm so how do we do it so go to events and grab another when green flag clicked and go to control forever if then go to sensing if then mouse down what we wanted to set gravity to 9 that means it is going up change y by 9 so if we try it in full screen and if i click it as you can see the character is going up but if i keep doing mouse down the character keeps going up hmm so how do we change that it's pretty simple go to control wait until mouse down so it says that wait until the mouse is actually down so if we try it again if i mouse down uh, hmm, why doesn't it work oh yeah i forgot Go to operators, not mouse down. Now if you try it, as you can see it does work. If I keep mouse down, it just does it only once. So our progress is complete. But there's something missing. We need pipes. So how do we do it? Hmm. Create a new sprite and name the sprite pipes now you can have what you can draw whatever pipe you want i'll just do it very simple like this but i'll just copy paste and flip horiz actually flip vertical and put it right here put it a bit bigger and make sure to center it and if you want uh, to make it colorful you can just duplicate it and select all and you can just change the color it's just for fun so let me just change the color Let's change it to cyan and duplicate it. Change this to say purple. So yeah. So when green flag click in the pipes, now switch costume to pick random one to four. That means it will switch costume to random one, costume one to four. So 
in the codes grab in the control grab a forever loop and then create clone of myself and let's say wait 1.2 seconds and when I start as a clone show and also hide at the very beginning show and we want it to go to okay so go to 270 and why let's just pick random let's say minus 100 to 100 and repeat repeat let's say 120 times change x by minus 8 and at the bottom change x by minus 20 and go to control and delete clone so if we try it as you can see it does work but it's actually kind of so let's change it to let's say 75 so if you try it mm, let's change it to let's say 60 how about 70 also let's make this kind of longer so I'll just say it two so yeah so if you try it as you can see it does work but it is not doing it hmm oh yeah I forgot to switch costume pick random one to four in the forever loop so if we try it as you can see it does work so now what we need is a score go to variables create a new one call it score and keep it for all sprites now at the very beginning set score to zero and when I start as a clone before the delete this clone change score by one and go to Mario and uh, go, grab a one green flag clicked again and go to control forever if then uh, touching in the sensing touching pipes then go to events broadcast new message and let's say it game over click ok and create a new sprite and now this will be called game over now I'll just create a simple game over screen you can just uh, make it black and make it in the center 0 and 0 and go to text and make this white and I'll just say game over and make this a bit larger then I'll just say here click the green flag to try try again and put it right here and go to your player just copy and I'll paste it I'll just make it a bit bigger and put it right here and I'll just make it dead <laughs> just for fun so delete the eyes 
and make to see that it so yeah let's try it again oops i forgot so in the game over screen go to when green flag clicked so first off we need to hide and when i receive game over then we want it to show actually we want it actually go to wh whatever it wants go to 36 and 100 just for fun and glide one second in the middle and show at the very beginning and go to control and stop all now let's try it also go to variables and hide the gravity and if you try it it does work mm, let's let's make this a bit faster so let's try it again now if as you can see the score changes so if we do it in full screen actually in the score let's just put it in the middle and right click on it and make it large readout so that you can see it properly so let's try it as you can see the score changes every time so let me show you again as you can see it does work so our progress is done and the score keep changing when the pipe passes every time the score increases and when I touch it it's game over so yeah that's it for this tutorial if you enjoyed it give a thumbs up and subscribe to with notifications on more advanced tutorials are coming and yeah I'm excited about it so yeah this is very simple and I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you later. Bye bye.